Good day everyone! This enhancement session is the part 2 on technology for teaching and learning. I will read the sentences or the stem and the choices and I will give you 10 seconds to choose your answer. After 10 seconds, I will reveal the best answer and give a rationalization or an explanation. Am I clear? Let's start. Question number one. The use of visual symbols in teaching is important to a teacher to help the student conceptualize his experience. Which of the following are visual symbols? Number one, drawings. Number two, charts. Three, graphs. Four, maps. Five, cartoons. Six, diagrams. And seven, strip drawings. Letter A, all of them. B, 1, 2, 3, and 4. C, 5, 6, and 7. Letter D, 1, 3, 4, and 8. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A, all of them. As implied in Edgar Dale's Cone of Experience, a teacher should not use only one medium of communication in isolation, but rather use many instructional materials. All of those above stated are visual instruction symbols that can be used in teaching. Question number two. What instructional material can a science teacher use to show a close representation of the Earth and its location in the entire solar system? Letter A, cartoon. B, diagram. C, map. D, model. Okay, the correct answer is model. Models class are three-dimensional objects used to represent real things. A cartoon tells a story metaphorically. A diagram is a line showing that shows arrangements and relations of parts of the whole. And a map is a representation of some parts of the earth or some parts of it. Question number three. A communication arts teacher wants to teach patterns of dialogues among characters in a story. What visual symbol can she use to represent what the characters of the story say? Letter A, strip drawings. B, chart. C, diagrams. Or D, cartoon. Very good! The correct answer is letter A, strip drawings. Strip drawings class are commonly called as comics or comic strip according to Dale in 1969. Question number four. What kind of chart can be used to show and or analyze a process from beginning to end? A, Gantt chart. B, organizational chart. C, flow chart. Letter D, time chart. Nice one! The correct answer is letter C, flow chart. Gantt chart class, it is an activity time chart. While organizational chart shows how one part of the organization relates to the other parts. And time chart is a tabular time chart that presents data in ordinal sequence. Question number five. In a mathematics lesson, a teacher... Our teacher Christian wants to present to his class the number of male and female in the class in a more concrete way. What visual symbol may be used by teacher Christian? Letter A, bar graph. C, circle or pie graph. C, pictorial graph. Or D, graphic organizer. The correct answer is letter B, circle or pie graph. 
pie graph recommended for showing parts of a whole, while bar graph used in comparing the magnitude of similar items at different entities or seeing relative sizes of the parts of a whole. And pictorial graph makes use of picture symbols. Question number six, a type of graph that illustrates a particular data series through a rectangle is called what? Letter A, bar graph, B, pie graph, C, line graph, or letter D, pictorial graph. Very good. The correct answer is the letter A, bar graph. Please refer to my previous item for rationalization and explanation. Question number seven. This is a way for students to visit art museums that they may not have access to otherwise. Letter A, social action projects. Letter B, tele-mentoring. Letter C, virtual field trips. Or letter D, Keepal's project. Good job! The correct answer is letter C, virtual field trips. Social Action Projects class is a kind of internet-based project that has kids creating solutions to local, regional, national, and international problems. On the other hand, tele-mentoring is pairing a student with a space scientist so that the students can get first-hand information on recent developments. And lastly, the Key Pulse Project. This is a way to get kids communicating with their peers to improve communication skills and exchange information. Let's move on to number 8. Which of the following rules can help teachers make sure they are complying with copyright laws when they use materials from internet sites? Number one, never use copyrighted items unless you credit the source site. Number two, use copyrighted items only with permission from the site owner. Number three, use a few items as possible from any copyrighted pages. And number four, never use any items that are clearly from copyrighted pages. The choices are letter A, one only, B, two only, C, one, two, and three, or D, 3 and 4. Nice one! The correct answer is letter A, 1 only. Never use copyrighted items unless you credit the source site. Number 9. In the internet, what is meant by www? Letter A, World Wide Web, B, We Want Work, C, Wide Wide World, or Letter D, We Will Win. Wow, very good. The correct answer is Letter A, World Wide Web. The World Wide Web class is an interconnected system of electronic pages containing almost everything. Number 10. Which of the following is a face-to-face -face communication that is made possible through a computer? Letter A. Email B. Google C. Twitter D. Skype Wow, very good. Clearly, the correct answer is letter D, Skype. Email class, it is an electronic mail sent via the internet through a computer. While Google, it is an internet search engine. And Twitter, it is a social media network. Number 11, a term used to refer to a computer program is letter A, desktop, B, hardware, C, software, or letter D, courseware.
Wow, very good. The correct answer is letter C, software. Desktop class, it is a computer unit. Hardware, on the other hand, it is a physical part of a computer unit. Courseware, it is a prepared curricular or course guide. Question number 12. A location in the internet setup where a teacher and a student can converse in a real time by typing their message to each other. Letter A, chat room. B, browser. C, email address. D, avatar. Of course, the correct answer is letter A, chat room. Browser class, it is a software package that allows one to look at information on the internet and graphics rather than just text format. Email address, it is a series of symbols or letters that act as an address for a site on the internet. And avatar, it is a 3D image that a person can choose to represent himself in virtual reality. Question number 13. What is that three-dimensional or 3D image presentation reproduced from a pattern of interference? Letter A, GPS, B, audiovisual, C, GUI, or letter D, hologram. Well done! The correct answer is letter D, hologram. GPS class or global positioning system, it is an instrument that uses a satellite to pinpoint exact location. GUI, on the other hand, it is a graphic user interface. It is a software that displays option to user in graphic format consisting of menus and icons. And audiovisual, it is a material with combined sounds and pictures or sounds and video. Question number 14. A file format that can be used by student or teacher if they want to store or send video sequences on a network. It is called what? Letter A, JPEG. Letter B, HTML. C, MPEG. Or letter D, PDF. The correct answer is letter C, MPEG or MPEG. It means Motion Picture Experts Group. JPEG, on the other hand, it means Joint Photographic Experts Group. It is a file format for storing and sending graphic images on a network. On the other hand, HTML means Hypertext Marked Up Language. It is the primary programming language used to develop web pages. And PDF, you know this, Portable Document Format. It is a file format invented by Adobe Systems to save documents in smaller file size and retains the original look of the original layout, fonts, and other graphic elements. Next, if you download a copy of a document such as an application form, it is usually in this format to make it easier to transfer with its original format and appearance. Letter A, BMP. B, PDF, C, P, I, C, T, or letter D, HTML. Very good. I know you are learning. The correct answer is letter B, PDF. BMP class or bitmap, the BMP format is a commonly used graphic format for saving image files. HTML, on the other hand, again, that is the primary programming language used to develop web pages. Number 16. You can use this kind of software either to create new web pages or modify existing ones. Letter A, an HTML editor. B, FPT software. C, server software. Or letter D, a browser editor.
Very good. The correct answer is letter A and HTML editor. FPT software class or file transfer protocol, it is a way of transferring file on the internet from one computer to another. Server software, on the other hand, it is a server which is a system that responds to requests across a computer network to provide or to help provide a network service. And a browser, it is a software package that allows one to look at information on the internet and in graphic rather than just text format. Number 17. What kind of images should be selected or inserted in a slide or page to make the presentation readable? Letter A. Matching B. Modeling C. Mixing or Letter D. Moving The correct answer is letter A, matching or match. Content like text and image on a slide or page must be coherent to make them meaningful and readable. Number 18. A teacher uses a computer-based science software projected to the class using a projector to supplement his teacher-centered class presentation. What level on technology integration in teaching and learning process is employed by the teacher letter a simple or basic integration b middle level integration c high level integration or letter d low level integration The correct answer is letter B, middle-level integration. Simple or basic integration class, there is no substantial change in the teaching learning process from previous method. While technology helps, it does not play a pivotal role. Middle-level integration, on the other hand, there is purposeful use of technology to support key learning areas. While high-level integration, in these examples, technology is the central instructional tool. Number 19. Which of the following is classified as high level of technology integration in teaching and learning? Number 1. A teacher wants to show photos in her social studies class, but the pictures are small. She decides to use a computer, scan the photos for a computer projection to the class. Number 2. A teacher asks her students to find information on H. fever in the internet. Students are to create an information leaflet giving a family health tips on H. fever. Number three, the Rizal School has a partner school in the U.S. A joint science project allows the Philippine and the U.S. schools to exchange information on indigenous herbal plants in both countries. Video conferencing is held involving students to both schools. The choices are... Letter A, 1, 2, and 3, B, 1, C, 2, D, 3. Very good. The correct answer is letter D, 3. High-level integration. Technology is the central instructional tool. Middle-level integration again, there is purposeful use of technology to support key learning areas. And simpler basic integration, there is no substantial change in the teaching learning process from previous method. While technology helps, it does not play a pivotal role. Question number 20. Which of the following is a conceptual model of learning created by the application of educational technology that enables students to willingly perform classwork to find connections between what they already know and what they can learn? Letter A. Meaningful learning. Letter B. Generative learning. Letter C. Discovery learning. Or letter D. Constructivism.
Well done! The correct answer is letter A, meaningful learning. Meaningful learning class gives focus to new experiences that are related to what the learner already knows. Number 21. Which of the following conceptual models of learning refers to the role of learning to help the individuals live or adapt to their personal world? Letter A. Meaningful learning. B. Generative learning. C. Constructivism. Or letter D. Discovery learning. The correct answer is letter C, constructivism. Constructivism class, the learner builds a personal understanding through appropriate learning activities and a good learning environment. Number 22, in discovery learning, students perform tasks to uncover what is to be learned, which statement refers to this conceptual model of learning due to application of educational technology. Number one, new ideas and new decisions are generated in the learning process regardless of the need to move on and depart from organized set of activities. Number two, students already have some knowledge that is relevant to new learning. Number three, the learner builds a personal understanding through appropriate learning activities and a good learning environment. Number four, the learner gives focus to new experiences that is related to what they already know. The choices are letter A, 1 only, B, 2 and 4, C, 1 and 2, D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The correct answer is letter A, one only. Discovery learning class, students perform tasks to uncover what is to be learned. Number 23, which of the following is an example of a multimedia? A, a picture. B, video clip. C, CAI in mathematics. Or letter D, a book. Very good. The correct answer is letter B, video clip. Multimedia class, it is an audiovisual package that includes more than one instructional media. Means of knowing, such as text, graphics, video animation, and video clip. Hypermedia, on the other hand, it is a multimedia package as educational computer software where information is presented and students' activities are integrated in a virtual learning environment. Number 24, which of the following is a characteristic of hypermedia application? 1. It is learner controlled. B. Learner has a wide range of navigation routes. 2. Learner depends on the source of the software. The choices are letter A, 1 only, B, 1 and 3, C, 1 and 2, or letter D, 1, 2 and 3. Wow, very good. The correct answer is letter C, 1 and 2. Learner control. This means the learner makes his own decisions on the path, flow, or events of instruction. The learner has control on such aspects as sequence, pace, content, media, feedback, and etc. that he or she may encounter in the hypermedia learning program. Learner, wide range of navigation route. For the most part, the learner controls the sequence and pace of his path depending on his ability and motivation. And of course, for our last number, what kind of tool is technology as evidenced by its use in word processing, database, spreadsheets, graphic design, and desktop publishing? Letter A, analyzing tool. B, calculating tool. C, encoding tool. Or letter D, productivity tool.
Very good. The correct answer is letter D, productivity tool. That's it. Congratulations, everyone, for finishing this part two of our enhancement session until the last question. How was your score? Are you learning? Did you get the correct answers? If not, you can still replay this and read more on the topics and concepts presented. Thank you and see you in our next enhancement session. God bless pre-service teachers. Bye!